Good morning, Rich Nass, Embedded Computing Design in the Embedded Computing Design booth. It's booth 121 in Hall 1. I am with Chris Engels from Avnet Embedded. Good morning. We're here to talk about ComHPC. Um, so the question I hear all the time from people is, I'm using ComExpress. It works great. Yes. Why do I need to, to move up to ComHPC? Yeah, there's certainly we have technology evolving over the time, bandwidths uh, increasing, and uh, the physical uh, bandwidth is going up basically. So we have PC Express Gen 4 with uh, 16 gig, mm -hmm. um, Gen 5 with 32 gig, there's also Ethernet, uh, 25 gig uh, mm -hmm. physical bandwidth. Uh, if you look at ComExpress and ComExpress connectors, they, they're good up to 16 gig. Uh, um, um, bandwidth, so okay. that's good for PCI Express Gen 4 right. uh, or 10G Ethernet. But if you want to have more bandwidth, um, how much more are you talking about? Um, well, you can easily double the bandwidth just really? by going to Gen 5, for example. The other thing is about connectivity, so you need mm -hmm. to have more PCI Express lanes, more uh, root complexes, um, or more Ethernet ports, uh, and ComHPC actually gives you that uh, ability. Um, on today on Com Express, uh, people just needing one Ethernet port, they're, they're good. If they need 24 piece of Express lines, they're good, right? Um, but if they have to connect more, then Com HPC actually is the answer uh, to their problems. Okay. And if, if, if I want to upgrade from Com Express to Com HPC, how much of a redesign am I, do I have to do? Um, well, yeah, it might be shocking, but basically you have to start once again doing a okay. complete new carrier design because it's a, uh, it's, Certainly, can you reuse building blocks from existing designs uh, mm -hmm. where it's useful? Power delivery and um, also specific uh, architectures you can apply from uh, Com Express to Com HPC. We're actually doing that in our labs. I mean, we've designed a um, new Com Express board based on the latest Intel um, uh, 12th generation uh, mobile processors, and now we're applying the same to uh, Com HPC. So it's it's a lot of reuse of the electronics on the module side. On the carriers, it might be different, um, different connectors, different mechanics probably, uh, maybe new interface types uh, used before, um, or 25 gig Ethernet and the sort. That may be new to customers. Mm -hmm. And speaking of reusable, you should be able to plug in the ComHPC modules from different vendors, assuming yes. they adhere to the standards. Yeah, so that's, this is still possible with the new standard because it's an open industry standard. It's defined by, by different vendors who so serve for the same purpose. Um, so interoperability still, still should be possible uh, if it's uh, cleverly and, and good design to the, to the standard. Very good. Come on over, talk to Chris, booth 121, all one.